Okay, we read the sum from zero to infinity, one over two n plus one, all cubed. Now, the first thing I wanna notice about this, two n plus one, clearly two n plus one is always gonna be an odd number. And with something cubed, we don't have to worry about the convergence. This thing's definitely gonna converge. Let's just write out some terms to see what's happening. If we plug in n equal to zero, the first one, we'll write it as one over one. And actually, just to be clear, let's write it as one over one cubed. Then for the second one, you plug in a one, we're gonna have one over three cubed, and then one over five cubed, et cetera. So what we have here, like I said, all odd terms. But then what if I did something like created, let's look at all the even terms. If we had one over two cubed plus one over four cubed plus one over six cubed, on and on to infinity. Well, of course, if you add these together, what you have is you've got all the odd terms and all the even terms, and it's just gonna be something like this. And then taking this thing and putting it into some notation, we could write this. We don't wanna start at zero because the first term here is one. So for this, it's gonna be n equals one to infinity of just one over n cubed. And the thing about this, this is actually gonna be our Riemann zeta function at three. Just because this is exactly our definition for the Riemann zeta function with just here input on it being three. And this is a well-known value. It's approximately something like 1.202 something. So what I want to do to get back to our solution right here of all the odd terms, if we look at it like this is a value that we know, if we can find all, if we can find a value for all the even terms, then we can set up a little equation and solve for our answer in terms of the Riemann zeta function. So if I take this right here, all the even terms, what I want to do is I actually want to factor out a one over two cubed. And then doing that, the first term is going to become one over one cubed. And the second term is going to be, this thing here is going to be one over two cubed. And this one's going to become one over three cubed. And you probably see where it's going because this right here, because the stuff in parentheses here, this is going to be the same thing as all this. This is just going to be our Riemann zeta function at three. Now one over two cubed, that's just one over eight. So for our even terms, we're gonna say this is gonna be one eighth Riemann zeta at three. So from this, we can set up our equation to solve. Let's just call, let's put a label on our goal, this first sum, let's call this, it's usually nice to call it big S. So for our equation, we're saying big S plus the even terms, which is one eighth Riemann zeta at three is gonna be equal to just our full Riemann zeta at three. Well, I can subtract this on both sides here. On the left side, these values are gonna cancel. We've isolated our goal. Putting these two together, for my final solution to this, we just get seven over eight Riemann zeta at three. And if you wanna approximate this with some kind of decimal answer, it's gonna be something like 1.0518, et cetera. Okay, so there you go. It seems like there's a lot of scenarios where you can do this just because the even terms oftentimes are easier to calculate. You can do this factoring trick where it doesn't work quite as well with the odd terms. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.